We know energy is conserved, we know momentum is conserved, we know that angular momentum is also conserved. The question is, why are they conserved? Why do these numbers that we call energy, momentum or angular momentum not change during a process? The answer lies in the no ether theorem. Oops, the no ether theorem. Addressing the elephant in the room, the no ether theorem is not linked to the ether at all. Instead, it is a very beautiful theorem in mathematical physics proposed by mathematician Emmy Noether. So what does the no ether theorem say? In short, symmetry gives rise to conservation laws. Wait, what? How did symmetry pop up here? Symmetry here has a much broader meaning. Imagine we have a system, let's say it's a star binary, free from any external influences. The system is said to possess translation symmetry if nothing changes inside it when we translate it to another point in space. Similarly, the system has time translational symmetry if nothing changes if it is shifted to a later point in time. The third fundamental symmetry is rotational symmetry which relates to the orientation in space. Now what does this have to do with energy conservation? It turns out quite a lot. Noether's theorem states that energy conservation is due to time translational symmetry. Moreover, momentum conservation is due to translational symmetry and angular momentum conservation is due to rotational symmetry. The fun doesn't stop. The theorem tells us that there is a quantity that will be conserved for every type of symmetry. And for every quantity that is conserved during a process, there must exist a corresponding symmetry. Now that's boggling. Why, should, why would symmetry be so intimately linked to conservation laws? The mathematics behind it is pretty advanced and the physical intuition is not evident at first glance. To understand why time translational symmetry is tied to energy conservation, we must consider the question, what is energy? It is essentially what describes how a system evolves in time. And hence, if the passage of time does not affect a system, the energy must remain same before and after. What is momentum? It is what describes how a system evolves in space. If shifting coordinates in space doesn't affect a system, voila, momentum conservation. And angular momentum it relates to angles, a similar argument holds there too. Now, why is this theorem important? In classical field theory, we've seen that it yields the extremely powerful but fundamental results of conservation of energy, momentum, and angular momentum. When extended to quantum field theory, it is called the Watt Takahashi theorem and gives even more conservation laws. The theorem also provides an explicit formula for the conserved quantity given any symmetry, thus proving to be an invaluable calculational tool in physicists' toolboxes. The significance of Noether's theorem in modern day physics can hardly be overstated. Our understanding of things right from particle physics to black hole physics lies heavily upon this theorem. So even though the ether may not be there, the noether is here to stay.